Edward Lloyd Perry was born August 25, 1818, at or near the village of St. George, Denbighshire, in Wales. Twelve days later, on September 6, 1818, he was christened. This is likely the church where he was christened. Here is the main entrance. These next two pictures were seen inside the doorway. Here are many of the tombstones that surround the church. This was the only tombstone we could find with the last name of Perry. And here is another view of the church from the back side. We also visited the city of Chester in England where Edward Lloyd Perry married Elizabeth Evans in 1846. In this illustration you can see a drawing of St. John's Church in the upper right hand corner. On August 17, 1846, Edward Lloyd Perry married Elizabeth Evans in the parish church of St. John in Chester, England. England. Here is a view of one of the paths at the side of the church. This part is an exterior of part of the dilapidated ruins. There were also some interesting stones about the size of manhole covers with intricate messages and engravings. Here are some more views of the dilapidated part of the church. Not all of the church is dilapidated, however. There is still a part that is fully in function to this day. Here we are about to enter the church itself. The interior of the church is very beautiful and very well maintained.
Here is some additional information about the history of the church. As we were exiting the church, we had the unexpected opportunity to see a sword fight. Edward joined the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in 1848, and by 1851 had been called to serve as a branch president in the little village of Abergali. These photographs are of the building where the branch used to meet. It is now a bar called the Bull Hotel on Chapel Street. Thanks for watching. And if you would like more information about Edward Lloyd Perry, go to Edward Lloyd Perry, that's P-A-R-R-Y, dot blogspot.com. Have a great day.